Hey, it's Imran Sadiq. We're here to help you, your clients, and your business get the most out of Elementor, WordPress, building websites, marketing, branding to help you, and basically everyone else in the world. Today, we're talking about different types of websites. And this one always makes me laugh. Inside, I sometimes sit there giggling or even sometimes like um, perplexing my face up inside, if that even makes sense. What do I mean by different types of websites and why am I even sniggering about it? Clients often approach us and they will say, hey, I want a website. And my first question would be, okay, what kind of business do you run? Who's your ideal client? At this point, I often get blank expressions, but let's pretend they've answered that. And then I start to say, right, but what type of website do you want? And this is where they kind of go, well, you're the web designer, you tell me. And let me give you an example. Personal trainer, okay, they want a website. Do you want a one-page website or a five-page website? Do you want to have an appointment booking system or no booking system? Do you want to share your calendar? Do you want to share videos or webinars? Are you going to have a membership? whereby people can pay a fee or whatever and have access to exclusive live chats or live uh, sessions because they might be, you know, living 100 miles away. So you want to open up your website to the world almost in effect. Are you going to have a shop on there? Maybe you've got some merchandise, some special towels, dumbbells, weights, sweatbands, whatever, ropes. Are you going to be selling all of that as well? And often the client kind of goes, oh, I didn't think of that. So for me, It's all about the client businesses understanding what kind of website do they want. And I've already kind of reeled off their different types of websites. You can have a basic website. It could be a one pager, a portfolio, or just something advertising what you do, like a landing page. It could be a five page website. It's the same information you have on one page, but it's now split out over five about services, testimonials, maybe if you've got loads, contact page and stuff like that. Do you want to have a subscription option on there? So people are now bought into a newsletter and you're always going to pump something out every week or fortnight or whatever for them. Are you going to do appointments? This is quite important because now we're no longer doing a basic website. Now we've got to start thinking about plugins and does it have to be integrated into your Google calendar, for instance? Are you going to ensure your calendar is up to date so that you don't double book? Who's managing that? Will you manage it or will you have admin? And I've mentioned already shops, you know, things like that. Are you selling products? But what if you're a hotel website? Are you going to take in deposits or not and stuff like that? And what about a blog? Is it just going to be a one category blog, multiple categories? So all of these things have to come into play when someone says, I want a website. And often they feel a little bit bombarded when you start asking them questions. But at the same time, I like to think that they kind of go, hmm, this person knows what they're talking about. Because nine times out of 10, someone says they want a website on Fiverr or Upwork or somewhere. And a million people put their hands up and go, yeah, we can do the website. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, no problem. $50, $100. Yeah, we can do that. You don't even know what the client wants yet. They haven't even made that explicitly clear yet. So what are you agreeing to that you can deliver? And what if they suddenly turn around and go, hey, yeah, I want a website, but I also want a iPhone app and I want to be able to walk around my restaurant. And when I enter in orders from a table, it sends it to the website, it creates an invoice, it sends it back or whatever, emails them a PayPal invoice or whatever, sends it to the restaurant chef. He then makes the stuff, blah, 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 blah. Whoa, hold on. That is a little bit more than just a website now. And now we need to start speaking to a really specialist JavaScript, C++, coder, whatever. And we've got to create something very bespoke for you. And the cost goes up. Because if you know the type of website the client wants or the business and how you could satisfy them, it is going to influence the pricing of your website. And we will talk about that in our next podcast, by the way. I'm not going to focus on that here. So someone comes to you and says, hey, I want a website. Or even if you right now are thinking of, I want a website, you need to stop and go, well, what do I want to have in it? How basic do I want it to be or how complex? In fact, it's more about how complex rather than basic. We love basic websites. Complex website, what do you want? And then you've got to bear in mind that there's probably going to be a lot of toing and froing to get it right, to fit what your expectations are. And maybe you can't have exactly what you want. 
So are you willing to compromise as well? So next time you approach someone and you say, I want a website, or if as a agency or a freelancer, you see a request for a website, don't just go in and go, yeah, we have a vision in our head, but this is how simple and easy it is. Don't look at someone website that's really amazing. Go, yeah, I want that. I mean, have you considered the fact that maybe this is a multi-million pound company or they're earning tons of money? They probably paid a lot more than what you're probably willing to pay as well. So start consideration, start consideration, start considering expectations and what you want to do. So remember, you want a website. Have you thought hard about what you want to have in that website? And we haven't even touched on the content or the images yet. So that's a whole nother ball game. Your colors, your branding, your logo, all of that as well. So remember, you know what you want, but do you really know what you want? Hey, I hope you keep listening and keep watching and I'll see you soon.